Hey there YouTube, California Prepper here. This is going to be my video response to Soul Survivor Times 2's big Ruger uh, SR9 giveaway they have going on. This is a huge contest you guys. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I will put a link in the bottom of this video and um, you guys need to check it out. This is a huge contest. They're giving away either a Ruger SR9 um, to anybody in the lower 48 that's legally old enough to own a gun, can own a gun, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, or they are giving away a $250 money order that they can send anywhere in the world because there obviously aren't restrictions on money, um, like there are firearms. So they asked us to give them a tip, Is uh, was the main part of uh, their contest. So the tip that I um, came up with is redundancy. I'm a father um, of two and I am one of those people that you know what is it one is none two is one and, and and so on you know you know that little saying they have that's how I see it um, I carry this backpack everywhere I go um, it doesn't matter if I'm walking down to the to the corner store or I am going on a three-day hike you know I at least have this is the minimal bag I have on me wherever I go whenever I have my kids or because I always have my kids with me wherever I go this goes with me so this is um, go kind of goes along with my tip I'm going to show you guys um, some of the stuff I carry so that I'm always prepared that's something my wife always gives me um, a pat on the back for she used to give me so much heck why do you carry that backpack around why is there so much crap always in here but you know how many times this backpack has saved our butts we'll need something something will break or something even people even co-workers at work show up they forgot a belt they forgot this they don't have this it, there's usually something in this bag that can either fix the problem or we can kinda you know rig something out and we usually do a pretty jo good job of it so I'm gonna kinda show you guys what I carry and this is how I stay prepared on a daily basis. We'll start off with this power plug here. And I did not prepare this at all. This is everything. I just threw my bag up here and uh, we're going to start emptying it out. It's kind of full right now, so kind of bear with me. There might be some junk in here and we'll just throw it out as we go. Uh, first off, got some duct tape. Duct tape. You never have too much duct tape. It fixes anything. It's almost gone. As you can see, we've been doing a lot of fixing. Um, here. Ah, that's where my multi-tool was. I was looking for this earlier. My Schrade multi-tool. Love this thing. Go Almost always goes everywhere with me. I couldn't find it earlier when I was uh, having to fix the kids' bike. But great, great multi-tool. We got some hot and spicy peanuts. Always got to have something to eat in here. You never know when you're going to get stuck somewhere for a couple hours. Especially with kids, I always keep snacks in here for my kids. They are always getting hungry at the worst of times. Now, even if you tell them, let's eat before we leave, oh, I'm not hungry. And as soon as you guys get in the car or you have to stop somewhere, they're starving. That's why I always carry snacks. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. There's some of the snacks there. We got some tipsy rolls for the kids. An old uh, Smash Tiger Bar. That's for Dad. Yeah, I don't care if it's smashed. Got some hand sanitizer. A uh, piece of stick. Hand rolled a uh, roll of bank line. Neon green. Great uh, visibility. We have some tropical energy strips. Them. These are actually little, um, uh, what are they called? Samples that they were giving away at my work. I have, probably have a stack like this thick of them. Um, Tic Tacs. Kids love the Tic Tacs. For some reason, they think they're candy. Two things with Tic Tacs. We have. See? That's redundancy right there. Told you. Redundancy. We have safety pins. These are the, the large safety pins. Those come in handy all the time. We have. Zip ties, multi size, multi color, multi everything, redundant. Redundancy is a must, guys. Okay, that's one pocket down. On to the next. We have Tylenol. Bought a little K 
carry bottle Tylenol. We have children's Tylenol. My kids, they get hurt too. They get headaches. They start not feeling good. Always have some children's Tylenol on your fever reducer. It's a must if you have kids. Um, some writing utensils, pens, permanent marker, uh, another pen that actually, actually I'll show this in another video. This here is a uh, wax pen that I got when I used to work in fast food restaurant and you, this is what you write on the burger wrappers with and this thing's awesome. It, it'll write on anything. You need to leave a sign or a marker for somebody. This will write on anything. Uh, those who know, I'm a cashier at a store, so I always end up with one of these in my pocket when I come home for some reason. And um, I have a stack of them. They're just little disposable razor knives. And man, do they come in handy. You can barely tell they're in your pocket. That's how I end up bringing them home so often. My wife will go to do my laundry and, dang it, you have another razor knife. Just add it to the pile, huh? Uh, an extra flashlight. I always have one on my keys, but this is an extra one. Redundancy. Uh, extra flamage. Extra lighter. I am a smoker, unfortunately, so I do always have a lighter on me, but I have an extra in here. Uh, some change in case I get stuck somewhere and have to take the bus home. I'm not going to pull out change. You guys know what change looks like. Um, the next pocket. Oh, we have a couple Chico bags. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I'm sure you guys have. Unless you're living under a rock. These are the bags they give you at stores so you don't have to use plastic bags. And these ones are awesome because they're uh, actually made in the town I'm from. Uh, which they actually cost a little more that way, but got to support the local economy. And they also have these little bags on the inside with a little drawstring on them. And. If you use them and tuck them in like you're supposed to, which sometimes I'm lazy, they tuck into little, a little bag like that, and you just drop it in your purse or your backpack or whatever you're carrying, and you have extra bags. It's always good to have extra bags. If you have to split up, if you have to, you know, you get wet clothes, you can throw one in these plastic bags. They don't leak wetness. Keeps everything else dry from getting wet. Um, multiple, multiple things, even if you're just going shopping. You don't have to waste all those plastic bags that, you know, are horrible for the landfill. I saved mine, but still, a lot of people just throw those away. So these are a great alternative to that. Uh, next in here, uh, I always keep a little headgear. My favorite beanie, a little beanie visor. Love this thing. Keeps me warm many a nights. Uh, this is my little, my little mini mini uh, closet got uh, a couple ace bandages never know when you're gonna twist an ankle or you know start bleeding horribly you can use those as bandages you know there are multiple uses a uh, couple bandanas black and white I live in California I uh, don't want to be having any gang colors with my kids I know it sounds cheesy but people don't look at it that way a uh, pair of gloves favorite sports team um, great pair of gloves. Always need some gloves for the hands. You never know what if you're having to pull somebody out of a car or bust a window and rip stuff. You don't want to damage your hands, and especially in a bug out situation, if you know, or stuff like that. Your hands, you got to keep them, keep them safe. Uh, extra pair of socks just in case. You never know. Um, and like I said, how my coworkers would come to work, they forget a belt. I always have an extra belt. As you can see, it you know has a little rough rough around the edges but when you need a belt and you don't have one this is heaven instead of a piece of string or a you know a shoe string that's heaven so uh that's gonna end that pocket and on to the final pocket see all this stuff that can be used for multiple scenarios has just been in what one medium sized pocket a small pocket and a smaller pocket so in the big pocket we have Ah, like I said, snacks. Snacks for my kids. My kids get hungry everywhere we go. We have some graham crackers. And these ones are actually really good. They're really hard to smash. Kirkland brand, Costco, good stuff. Um, crayons. We have some crayons for my kids. Anywhere we are, we, you know, they always want a color. Got 
got some markers. Uh, can be used for coloring. They're permanent also, so if you have to write a sign to somebody, um, almost every color there. You go, got some big sharpies here, some pencils in the back for my kids. Um, great stuff, redundancy. Multiple ways to leave signs, to write on stuff, uh, whatnot. In here we have uh, some re light reading for me, forts and battlefields. Um, and inside of here, I usually hide some uh, stuff I don't want bent up and important stuff. Like here is a, uh, a bus schedule and bus route. So if I ever need to, you know, hop on a bus, I get stuck somewhere, whatnot, and need to hop on a bus to get somewhere, I have their schedule, their routes, where to go, everything, which one to get on. Uh, also a pretty good book, Forts and Battlefields by Reader's Digest. Um, really been looking into this a lot. I want to learn how to defend myself a little bit better. And uh, if I do end up having to take up property, how to defend it. Great book. Uh, great book to read. Next up, I just have a little notepad. Um, I usually have another notepad in here, but it's um, actually being used right now. Um, I'm actually writing on it over there. That's why it's not in here. So... Um, Another notepad for my kids, either to draw, color, leave signs, letters, whatnot. Never know. Also, little man porn. New Cabela's magazine um, just came out uh, last month, I believe. Uh, great stuff. If you guys haven't checked out Cabela's, awesome. So, this is gonna be my little tip, and um, not sure if this fits the bill as a tip, but redundancy. I carry this backpack everywhere. Usually, there's also some other items that I throw in depending on where we're going, how long we're going, etc. But this is just the basics on what's usually in the bag. Um, oh, I guess there's a few other things. A couple baseballs. My kids are always getting bored. These are little bouncy baseballs that they can play with. And you know there can't only be one because they're going to fight over it. So I got redundancy again. Two of everything. At least two. What else do we have? Oh, ah, we went to the park earlier. So they took their rangers. Two each. See that? Redundant. Even they know. Don't take one. Take two. Redundancy. I've been teaching it to my kids, and look, they already know it. So that's my tip. Redundancy. Um, they also asked uh, that we go over and uh, sub uh, Baby Blue on the Town, which I don't know if you guys have checked out her channel. I didn't know about it before this. But go check her out. She has a great channel. Um, it's not how it sounds. Uh, she knows everything there's to know about her football, man. This girl loves football. College football, national uh, football, NFL. This chick knows it. Go check out her channel. Awesome channel. I'm sure you guys will fall in love with it like I did. Um, just found it, and it's a great channel. Um, next, they just asked us to like them on Facebook, which, I mean... I already like almost all my channels that I uh, like on YouTube. I go over and uh, show them some support on Facebook also, which you guys should too. If you guys have a favorite channel that you like that you check out every time you, um, you log in, make sure to some, show them some support. Like their videos. Go check them out on Facebook. Um, it really goes a lot farther than you think. So, also, um... They, I think they wanted us to do something else. I'm not exactly sure what. I think they wanted us to give a couple shout outs. I'm not sure. If they do, I'll have to put um, put that in the link below. Um, but I think that's it. So, this is going to be my uh, tip for them. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully I get um, entered into this awesome contest. Um, the gun, the current gun that I have, actually the Smith & Wesson Sigma 40 caliber, the SR 940 was actually the gun that I wanted when I went to buy my handgun. Um, but Ruger at the time, for some funny reason, they were so behind on sales, they weren't taking any more orders because they were so backlogged. Six to nine months was the waiting list just to put in an order. So, um, at the time, I really wasn't willing to wait that long um, for, for my sidearm. So I went with about a $50 cheaper option and got the Smith & Wesson uh, Sigma SW40VE, which I'm very happy with the gun. It does have um, a little stronger trigger pull than most people would like, but it's also an American-made gun. Uh, Smith & Wesson's a great brand, um, so I really couldn't couldn't be uh, too disappointed. It wasn't the, the original handgun I wanted, but it is a nice handgun, and I am very happy with the purchase. 
Um, so I would love to win this gun, guys. Um, this is an awesome giveaway. Hope you guys um, like the video and um, come check me out, California Prepper. Um, I really appreciate the contest, guys, and I'll make sure to show some support and um, hopefully send some people your way. All right, California Prepper.